Right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Keenan, and welcome to Vigil Prophecy of the Bestowed. Ever since I did the first video on the game, I've always been keeping an eye on it, checking up on the development streams they all do on their channel, to see if they're going to give in and just give us some new information. And they fucking did. Eventually. Thanks to the Row team for letting me share the footage from their development streams and let me know when information is coming out. So before we get into the news, I just want to say that if you haven't watched the previous Vigil video that I did, I suggest going to check that out because I will have information that I won't be covering in this video. So yeah. The first piece of information that we have from the game is that there will be... <laughs> no, I can't say this. <laughs> the first piece of information that we have from the game is that there will be a confirmed Game Boy version. Yes, that is right. <laughs> Instead of making PS4 and Xbox versions, they uh they went for a fucking Game Boy port. So, yeah. <laughs> Confirm. I <did> get ready. <laughs> Make sure Bandicoot includes that in his video, AJ. But yeah, let's get into the actual first piece of information that I love, by the way. And that is that Uni Comics uh, is working with Row to make a prequel Vigil comic book. That is just fucking mental to me, by the way. I love how much work these guys are putting into this game because at first when I seen it announced, I was like, ah, this is just a wee fan project, it's fine. But now it feels like an actual standalone thing, standalone game, like they've been saying. The 20 page comic will be about how the Row team got together and the details of their first mission together. Now, I don't actually know if they're going to be called Row or Residents of... Well, yeah, they're definitely not going to be called Residents of Evil in the game. But I don't know if they're going to be called Row. Their team, any of like, story-related details haven't actually came out yet. So, we just need to bide our time and just wait for that to find out more. I'm really excited for this comic book, by the way, because I didn't actually know that any of like, that sort of shit was going to happen until I watched the development streams. And I was like, oh, okay, okay, because I quite like comic books. Anyway, it does sound cool, and from what I hear from the streams, Uni Comics is also helping Moonglint with the development of the game, I think through, like, design and all that. Anyway, it's confirmed that Vigil will be set during the 1980s and will feature music that is reminiscent of that of the original Resident Evil games, but will be mixed in with more of a synthwave style music. Files and collectibles can be found throughout the game to expand the lore of the Vigil universe, much like that, again, in Resident Evil. <laughs> By the way, this game is really heavily inspired by Resident Evil because, of course, the fucking the channel that is making this game is called Resonance of Evil, so you can see where their inspiration's coming from. But they did say that it's not just influenced by this, but influenced by other survival horror titles as well, like Silent Hill. I'm glad they're doing this because I'm one of those guys that, if I'm really into a game, I love getting like pieces of notes, pieces of paper, pieces, like just letters and all that with more story details. What I really love is when like you go throughout this game and you just pick up these letters and it's like a developing story throughout these letters. Uh, there's like, a lot of stuff like that in Fallout but there's um there is one in Resident Evil Remake where it tells a story of um fuck what's her name was it Lisa? Yeah it's, it's basically the developing, of, the developing story of Lisa and if you don't know who Lisa is it's the big like immortal mutant from a Resident Evil remake. The game will not have first or third person over the shoulder camera perspectives like in much recent other survival horror games like in The Evil Within, Resident Evil 7 and the abundance of fucking BT clones. Vigil will instead go back to using the classic old fixed camera angles and you will also have a mix of Code Veronica style camera movement in there as well. If you haven't played Code Veronica it had like a fixed camera but ones that would move with the player so if the player was walking down a hallway the camera would follow the player's movements but will still remain in that static position. Oh and by the way, for those of you wondering, because I can't remember if I mentioned this in my last video, the game will actually have controller support for those of you who don't like using keyboard and mouse, or they just want that classic, uh, classic PlayStation feel or some shit, I don't know. Or just, you know, like using a controller. <laughs> in the development stream, they were answering a question that was asked to them, does the game feature zombies, in which they replied yes. But they behave differently than traditional zombies like you would see in RE, Dead Island and all that. The team also referred to these enemies as drones as well, so I'm really curious to see what these enemies will look like, will act like in the final game. They touched over this topic, but with the game having multiple playable characters from the row team. By the way, I think how this is going to work, instead of it being you select a character
character you want to play at the beginning of the game, you would place them in different points of the story, similar to signing and all that. Because I think I said in my last video you could choose them all at the start, I'm not too sure about that one. Anyway, yeah, the characters will play differently from each other. They gave an example of Tony, a member of the Roa team. His character won't use weapons like the others, but he will, he might utilise photography. So I'm imagining some kind of fatal frame scenario there. If you don't know Tony, he does a, he does do photography in real life, he is a part of the row team, and the guys did say that their personalities will be more exaggerated in the game, so I can imagine, you know, AJ having like a fucking rage mode like Kratos and God of War, <laughs> just going ham and fucking cunts. Oh, and by the way, the game will feature a bar, that is right, yes, the mansion will have a bar fucking fantastic. So that's most of the new info I got from the streams. Got any new info that I missed? Just please let me know down in the comments below. I don't know why I said like that, but yes I did. Right, that's me for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. To keep up to date on Vigil, I suggest going subscribing to Residents of Evil on YouTube or Twitter. Actually, most of my audience is probably already from there, so just follow them more I guess. <laughs> but when more information comes out on Vigil, keep an eye on my channel because I'll also be making videos or these types of videos on the game as well. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and see you later. Bye bye.